Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. Let's start today's video off with Mr. Olympia Derek Lunsford, who is looking incredible, if I must say so myself. Going into this year's Olympia, Derek Lunsford should be the most improved bodybuilder of the top three. And I say that because between Derek, Heidi, Nick, and Samson, Derek is the only one that will have had a full year off come this year's Olympia. Nick Walker has to do at least one show, Heidi did two, and Samson did three. But even though Derek did not do as many shows as those guys, that's not just saying he's going to outright win this year's Olympia, but he has had the most amount of time off to improve. And he is working with Honey Rambod, who is probably the greatest coach of all time at this point. I don't even think it's arguable anymore. But let me know in the comment section below what are expectations for Derek Lunsford at this year's Olympia. Now, in the next update of the day, we have a recent update of the biggest threat to Derek Lunsford's Mr. Olympia title, and that is the current reigning Arnold Classic and Arnold UK champion, Heidi Chupin. When I looked at this update, I would assume it was from a competition prep because Heidi is absolutely shredded, but I actually think this is a recent update of Heidi, and he's been saying off and on a lot, so I think Heidi is running little to no gear or maybe none at all, probably at least a TRT dose. But I think this year's Olympia is going to come back down to Heidi and Derek. Early prediction. Now, I did want to talk about this update of Samson data from vacation. And it's possible that Samson is off or very close to that. Samson usually says after a show he goes completely off prior to his offseason. But a lot of people just don't believe that because Samson still looks absolutely crazy. But you guys should go over to his Instagram. Samson is really enjoying his vacation. And I'm excited to see what this guy is going to bring to this year's Olympia. Can he crack that top two? And in the next update of the day, we're going to talk about Martin Fitzwater. These are some backstage shots of him from the Detroit Pro. But it was recently announced that Martin will be hopping into the New York Pro versus Nick Walker, Antonio Burton. Very exciting news. I could not wait to see Martin versus Tonio at the Mr. Olympia, but I don't even have to wait until the Mr. Olympia. And even with Martin and Tonio in the lineup, I still think Nick Walker is going to pull it off because he is a top three Olympian. But if either one of those guys could upset Nick, that would be absolutely insane. And I hate that I have to mention this right now, but I did want to say I've been seeing comparisons of Martin to Phil Heath. I've seen comparisons of Samson to Ronnie Coleman. Personally, I just don't think any of today's bodybuilders can be compared to those physiques. With all due respect to Martin and Samson Dowda, but I just don't see it. Phil and Ronnie were just on a completely different planet, with all due respect. And in the next update of the day, we have some recent updates of Akeem Williams about eight weeks out from the Toronto Pro Show. And Akeem has been having an incredible year so far. He still hasn't won a pro show, but it seems like he has somewhat revived his physique and I'm excited to see if he's going to continue this upward trend at this year's Toronto Pro. Eight weeks out, we're not really sure who exactly is going to be doing this show. I think it's quite possible that Quint Beastwood hops into this show, but I'm hearing rumors about him doing New York. But what do you guys think Akeem is going to bring to Toronto? Now, while we're speaking of Quentin Araya, Quint Beastwood, he did post a recent update looking very conditioned. And as I just said, I think he could do Toronto but I'm hearing rumors that he is going to hop into the New York Pro, which would make this show even more interesting. But Quint has not confirmed anything yet, but he has been posting a lot of updates and conditioning is getting better. So I would assume he's going to compete at least within the next eight weeks. Now, in the next update of the day, we have a recent update from William Bonek, who finally got to meet his coach in person, Boss of Outlaw. And in the caption of this post, William Bonek finally announced what shows he will be doing this year. So the first show will be in Spain in June, which I'm pretty sure is the Impro Classic. And then three weeks after, he said he will be doing a show in Portugal. As of right now, Beirut's Tabani should be competing in Spain. And it's quite possible that Michael Crizzo will be as well. And hopefully we get to see all three of those guys on the stage in Spain because that would be a great show. If Bonek looks like some of his older versions, he can definitely come out with a win. But if Bonek is still looking how he's been looking over the past year, I think it's going to be very tough for him to beat Michael Crizzo or even Beirut's Tabani. Let me know what you guys think. And let's switch over to 212. We have a recent update from our current reigning Olympia champion, Keon Pearson. 
and this was actually posted up by his coach, Patrick Tour. Patrick said Keon's weight has been staying consistent at around 230 pounds, but the body composition is improving, which can definitely be seen. I think Keon was low 200s at the Mr. Olympia and he's currently 230, but it seems like he's getting more and more conditioned every week while maintaining 230 pounds. And I also think they're gonna be in a great position to start prep. And I said this when Keon started working with Patrick. The main thing with Keon Pearson was he needed to bring the conditioning. Patrick Tour seems to be one of the best coaches of today with getting guys conditioned. So I'll say it again. As long as Keon is working with Patrick, they're going to continue to improve and Keon is only going to get more conditioned and gain more muscle maturity. Now let's switch over to Classic Physique. We have a recent update from Mr. Classic Physique, Robert Timms. And Robert has yet to announce what show he's going to do, but he said he's back, so he should be competing this year. And excitement is very high. I've mentioned this before, but to me personally, it seems like the Classic Physique judges are not as hard on bodybuilders about having massive quads. Breon Ainsley and Wesley Vissers have had a lot more success this year than last year, and I personally don't think their physiques are drastically different from the Mr. Olympia. I personally think that the Classic Physique judging may be going in a slightly different direction. And those are all my personal thoughts and not facts, by the way. But excited to see Robert hop on stage this year, and I think he's going to get some really good placings. Now, let's go ahead and wrap up today's video here with the archive of the day. You guys let me know in the comment section below who is this bodybuilder. And as always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. I feel like I had some kind of bold takes, but I'm just being 100% honest about what I think in the sport of bodybuilding. All my takes are non-political, and I actually don't use a script. I just put the video up and... Whatever I say, I say. But be sure to like this video if you haven't done so already and also subscribe to the channel. We are currently on the road to 10,000 subscribers. I'm Krishan from Go Fitness and that's it. I'm out.